ultimately this is where we're going right here so this video then is completely different to my normal one <coughs> voice is going even when we're halfway up a mountain my voice still goes um yeah so it's not gonna be like the normal video where we'll discuss one of the sort of trades or roles or whatever it is to do within the army but more of a vlog just because I need to get out today and um, to get some stuff done for upcoming videos um, but we can sort of relate it to the army uh, you know goal setting uh, working for what you need to get um, you know I have mentioned in one of the other videos about uh, this sort of cinematic style video I'm doing and if you have been on the channel here for a while you'll know I have got a bit of a hobby it's morphing into stuff I had a hobby and it's morphing into a lot more serious sort of filmmaking and photography and like with anything to get better at anything uh, you, need to, you need to practice every day um, and the reason we're up here for them is part of this cinematic video I'm doing to sort of celebrate Rangers Day and what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to find a spot I'm going to sit down and speak to you so I'm catching my breath <laughs> hey, sit in a bit so what we'll do is we'll like sort of focus it slightly on the people looking to do um, you know get ready to join the military you can be joining the RAF, Navy, you can be joining flipping American Army wherever you are or you know primarily the British Army if for the people who are joining that they're asking about sort of physical fitness and stuff um, see the assessment centre 100% nothing to worry about um, though there is quite a lot of people who are really eager to join um, but they're putting the assessment centre off because they really want to train hard and um, get into like peak physical condition honestly and, and they're putting this back for months there's absolutely no reason to do that whatsoever um, you do not need to be superhuman fit you just need to be active just get out walking running whatever it may be body weight exercises is the main, main thing for the gym stuff especially what's uh what's going on current climate where all the gyms and everything are closed and um, just mastering your own body weight Right, so what I mean by mastering your own body weight is exactly what it says in the tent. It's just like your own body. If you can do a, a perfect squat, so an air squat, a perfect press up, you can hold a plank for like over a minute without starting to do the sort of flipping jingle dance. You know, that is you starting to master your body. All them sort of small stabilizing muscles, you're, you're really, you know, you're strengthening them and they're really engaging properly. If you have all that squared before you go to training, now it doesn't matter if you're going to train in Catrick, Purbright or any, any form of fitness. You've got that base standard, that good foundation. So whenever you go to somewhere, so for instance, if you're gonna to go to basic training for the army, then the PTIs, they will start their physical training program to bring you to the required standard of fitness to leave training and go into the field army. You know, even now where gyms and all that sort of stuff are closed, uh, you know, just working on your own body weight. So whenever all the gyms open, open again, can't wait for that day, whether it be the end of the summer or whenever it is, you'll have had that base standard back. You've got to know your own body and then you can really start to up the sort of weights and everything again. You know, I'm, I'm one who's, who's, um, who's been susceptible. Look at me trying to use these fancy words. It never comes out right. I'm one who just like, um, used to keep going up the weights as, as heavy as I could. Keep going, keep going up. Because every time you wanted to go to the gym, I wanted to feel the burn. You just wanted to grow and grow and grow. But the thing was then your form starts to go completely out the window. Then I had a really bad shoulder, and I flip and still do. It gets, it's, uh, I've got an overused pec at the top, so um, this shoulder will start to be pulled forward, uh, and, and and that's just down the bad form, just like heavy weights, just ah trying to get up there. So it's, it's reverting all the way back and using this time wisely. And the main thing is for fitness, is don't flap. Next thing then is hold yourself accountable. Um, what I mean by that is it's all well and good for now. This can apply to anything not just joining the army this even applies to myself trying to do things this is all well and good talking about things and getting really excited about it and saying oh i'm going to do this 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 and that and it's going to look like this this and that um but if you don't hold yourself accountable and start to set yourselves dates and goals to work to 
then all these sort of wild ideas they, they never they never amount to anything um, so relating it back to joining the army or whatever force is the application process even because there is quite a lot of people going oh yeah I need to give it a few months but even now just you putting in the application now if you're 100% interested in joining and wait breath just go through the application process it doesn't matter what time or what sort of uh, stage you're at because as soon as you put that process in there's going to be people either phone calling you or sending you more emails that there is enough to give you the firecracker up your arse to get yourself up and train them for it if you just keep putting it off and say you know i need to get fit first uh, before the application you've got no there's nothing pushing you on and uh, to get out and do that fitness so it's all like now if it's a beautiful sunny day you'll get out and go for a run and stuff but you know say you do that for five days on day six oh you bugger mother say on day six take two um, you start to feel sort of muscle fatigue doms and all that tightness around your legs maybe a little bit of sort of pain uh, around the shins and stuff you, you'll just not do it because it becomes uncomfortable and you haven't got that deadline so you'll end up sacking it and then you end up um, falling in this sort of vicious cycle however if your application process is in and someone's giving you dates you're going to work through that pain because you know you've got the deadline and you need to get fit for it 100% so do not worry about it right right I'll see you when I'm up there Not even at the top yet so there's some beautiful views for you there a bit of a reward a gift from me to you right so next thing there is about is mindset um so i suppose you could this, you could apply this to everything so I, i'm no guru guru i'm no millionaire i'm no sort of success story but i've been through enough crap to realize the difference sort of uh, the sort of progress you can make with having a positive mindset because i've always i've had been periods of my life and career i've had a negative mindset and you know everything having that it's, it's so easy to be negative and it's very very hard to be positive so no matter what situation you're in always trying to look for that positive in it no matter you know if it's something you failed or uh, you know something you haven't achieved and it's a massive hit to you it's harder it's easy to be very very negative about that very quickly uh, than it is to sort of dig away and really f find the nitty-gritty hidden away positive thing like that and what you've learned from my experience um, and, and the, the big thing is just staying positive now the reason why i'm talking about this is there has been a few people now speaking to me um right this is now army in general uh who, who want to join but they're they're not having the support and the big thing that i'll say with positivity and that positive mindset is uh, the really the really thing that helps you is now i've had over the years i've been through all the sort of bouts i've had depression anxiety and the number one thing that's got me through everything is friends uh, loved ones and family and physical fitness just being active and getting out amongst this stuff and, and eating well all them things combined together uh, are the perfect remedy and um, you know for you know for mental health and it just really helps it all now regards to the people then who, who just I went to talk to you there about before I went actually off on a tangent is they don't have the sort of same support in their households for joining and um, there's a lot of people there who you know quite young so I'm talking maybe about 17 I'm getting a bit chilly here and I need to start moving and around the sort of 17 year old 18 year old mark and you know their parents or you know loved ones or what aren't as supportive uh, to join the military and that's perfectly fine because you know mums and dads out there and loved ones care about their about their families uh, sorry about their sons and daughters and to be honest the military probably has quite a lot of has had a lot of bad press over the last 30 years but you know with that there just include them in your sort of research and um, bring them on to Ranger Media talk to you all about it because you've got to forget yes I'm 31 year old 31 years old now but when I joined I was only 17 like and um, you know and it's got me to where I am now um, I would be I would have been in a very very different place if I hadn't got into the army and um, my life was absolutely nowhere so coming into this organization 
provided me the confidence and skills. It got me uh, surrounded with positive people as well. Uh, like I said to you at the start here, you've got to surround yourself with positivity. Uh, and it's really helping me to, uh, to do what I want. And it's leading to other things, big opportunities. Stay positive. Um, use this, use YouTube, use Instagram. Um, you know, surround yourself in the community. Get in the my comment section. There's loads of other, uh, you know, loads of, there's uh, quite a few other military YouTubers out there. You got Craig Holman who does um, Tactical Warrior, I think he's rebranded to. You've got Smudge over at MKR. You've got Fabsy, very, very motivated, positive person. All these people are all positive people. Go into their communities. If they're positive, their communities will also be positive. Their comments will be positive. Get in amongst there and start speaking to people who are, you know, wanting to go through the same journey as you. They're going through the same journey or they've already been through that journey. Yeah, and surround yourself with them people and you'll be good to go. Right, so that's positivity. <laughs> Mindset. And this time I will see at the top because I have got a little bit more to go right here. Hopefully it's not a false summit. Whoa. Right, definitely will see you at the top. Positivity, head down, keep going. Climb them goals. Tell you what, this is an absolute nightmare <laughs> on your own. <laughs> With all this flipping camera equipment, microphones, lenses, flipping drones a lot. Nearly there, but you know, we're not all like bear grills and way. <laughs> the rest of them who have full camera crews, they can do the filming bit. Oh, one man band here. Oh, right. Almost there. Almost there. So opportunities, and I've covered this in loads of videos now, so I'm not going to go into the same, uh, you know, the same way as in past sort of videos. But just the reason why I'm talking about opportunities is um, it's just right now what we're doing exactly now. Um, you know, just being in that sort of active job or that job where you know it's like I always say about the military, no no day is is the same as the sort of the day. No day is the same as yesterday. You know. I probably wouldn't be up here. I know it's Saturday, like, and anyone can flip and put a flipping rock sack on and go hill walking. I know it won't seem big to use, but if I hadn't been in a position where I needed to make this video, not this particular vlog you're watching now, uh, but the one that's going to be out in the next sort of two weeks, you know, I would have never have been up here now. I would have missed all this sort of scenery behind me. Um, I wouldn't be putting myself into the position to practice because obviously I'm now recording this as part of the vlog to to. Uh, you know, do the video for Monday night, but I'm going to stay here for a bit in between cuts of this uh, to do some photography of that there, um, to really practice on that. So being in the, you know, it really presents you them opportunities, but you need to go and get them. You know, there is a lot of people saying to me, you know, you know all the army's brilliant, but if I if I go infantry, you know, it doesn't give me, uh, you know, that that sort of uh, uh, the qualifications on paperwork, which which some trades in the army would do. You can get it in the infantry, and I know I'm, I'm flipping say on the infantry because I am in the infantry. I'm obviously going to talk highly of it. The army as a whole is brilliant, but I think what I'm trying to get at the point is the opportunities. If you keep them positive mindset and all the thing we talked about at the bottom of the hill, the good opportunities will then start to come. So it could be anything. Obviously now I, I, I like I love filmmaking and photography, and the opportunities are now starting to present themselves for me to really excel in that, um, like things like this and, and things to, you know off into the future. But there's guys who are you know, really into their health and fitness and you know, they go down the PTI route, that opens them up then, they could probably start their own personal training businesses. Um, there's guys who've been in the sort of signals, so the communications um, side of things in the infantry, who've left the infantry with the, um, the corporal qualifying signals course and went and they're now working for Formula One. So that's like traveling across the world, setting up the communications for Formula One. People are working there for the emergency services. Uh, veterans have got out. One in particular, uh, big shout, big Sam Benson. Um, I'd done a video for him a couple of weeks ago. You know, he got out, went into the security industry, and rose to the top of that in industry. And by helping other people out, loads of other opportunities started to present themselves. So it just shows you having that positive mindset and really going for your goals, not getting too focused in on certain things other positive opportunities will start to arise and it's just up for you then to, to, to grab that and take that. If you're wanting to be in the military, you just got to keep visualising it. That's all you got to do, visualise whatever unit you want to be a part of. Join that particular unit, whether it be the parachute regiment, if you want to go in P Company, or you know if you want to go to Marines and do the commander course, or if you want to come be an Irish Ranger, 
whatever it is within the whole army, just start visualizing that. Visualizing yourself, excuse me, on that pass out square in your full number twos, passing out and going into your unit. I swear it's, it'll happen so easily because your, your, your positive mind will start to come in. You'll start to train better. You'll, you'll be able to, you wake up in the morning, you'll be wake up with a purpose. You'll be eating properly. Um, and as the weeks start to go, you'll really get into a really healthy, positive routine. And then them goals will just start flipping, tick, 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 ticking off. Right, I'm gonna hit some sort of shot before this sun is now in the perfect um, place, bouncing off the sea line. The sea lion, not the animal, the sea line, I meant to say. Uh, and then, I'm gonna head back down the mountain, jump in the car, and head back. So that was something different there um, for this video. If you have been around uh, for long enough, so I thought let's do a little sort of just a one-on-one -on -one with you and um, really G you up uh, and for that Monday night video and get you going for the rest of the week and hopefully for whatever goals you need to achieve. Right, that's us. My name's Luke, Ranger Media. If you like what you've seen and you want to stay updated with future content, like and subscribe and hit that bell icon um, and also stay in touch with the community tab and that will be of all the sort of updates and stuff. Ah, right. What a morning. See you in a few days.